Turning now to a deadly U.S. military crash off the coast of Japan. At least one person was killed and seven other crew members are missing after a U.S. Air Force Osprey went down during a routine training mission. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports the Osprey has been involved in a string of fatal crashes in recent years. A Japanese Coast Guard vessel that reached the crash site recovered what appears to be an inflatable life raft and a large piece of debris was visible floating in the water. A witness told Japanese media he saw the plane's left engine on fire just before it plummeted into the sea. It had been flying in clear skies on a routine training mission off the coast of Yakushima Island in southern Japan. Ospreys are the main assault support aircraft for the U.S. Marines. They can tilt their rotors to fly like helicopters or conventional planes. But the aircraft has a troubling track record. Last August, one crashed in Australia during international training exercises. Three Marines were killed. Since 2012, six other crashes have left a total of 13 dead, including Marine Captain John Sachs, one of five Marines killed in this 2022 accident in California. Attorney Tim Loringer represents the Sachs family. There have been several crashes, say, since 2022. And so the questions have to be asked. What is causing these issues? A Marine Corps investigation of the 2022 crash found the Osprey had suffered an unanticipated, unrecoverable, and catastrophic mechanical failure. But the Pentagon said there was no reason to ground the aircraft. If these investigations lead to something that would uh, cause us to adjust anything about how we believe the Osprey should be used, we would do that. Now, the sun's been up for a couple of hours here in Japan, and U.S. military and Japanese Coast Guard continue to comb that crash site. Meanwhile, the governor of Okinawa, the island where the main U.S. military base is here in Japan, has said he's going to ask the U.S. military to suspend all Osprey flights. Mm. Nora? Elizabeth Palmer, thank you.